start off with we want to reflect the sky. Okay, so we want to put some light in. We don't want to make it too light against this uh, stone, these stones at the bank. So keep it somewhere in the middle. And then I've already filled some of this in. This is the grey. I've gone in around here, around here. And this is the light grey, 270. And this is where we can cut right into the detailed areas along that edge. We'll be bringing a lot of this back, so don't worry if you do happen to, like I've done, gone over the top of the detail. There's going to be fairly strong tone. What we don't want to do is leave any of the pastel paper showing through, so you've got to go right up close to the edges. Do it two or three times. You'll see that the pastel is building. You see all the dust on there. We'll leave that there. Don't get rid of it. And that can be filtered into the white, like that. And when you've done that, where you can, use your finger. Now, obviously, you can't when you're going right up close, but get pretty pretty close to the edges. Finger is the best blend, blending tool you've got. And rub that in there, you see how well that's gone into the pastel paper. It means all these stronger colours I'm going to be using will go into that, be subdued by that. Great, now that is lovely. I've already gone there on the edges. And just to show you how I did that, if you use, I'd use the grey colour shaper here. You can use the big one, if you've got one of these big ones, you can use that. Uh, but there's not a lot here to worry about, so I'm probably not going to bother with that. Now, the grey colour shaper will actually give you and blend that colour right up to the edges. Push it right up. Lovely. Okay, now well that's that's fine. Now do this in stages. Grey would be the first thing we're going to put on, and we can put some grey in. Put some grey behind there. And it's always worth, really, just putting a little bit of towing the water job, literally towing the water or pastel pencil in the water. Um, now the idea is that we put just a little bit on like this, and then use. The ochre. Uh, well, no, that's not the ochre. Hold on, I've got the wrong colour here. I could have used that one, but really the yellow ochre, which I have completely. There it is. There it is the uh, not the yellow ochre, the brown ochre. I mean, which is one eight two, would be a good colour here to start the ball rolling like that. Put that in. Okay, now let's. Now, what we do now is to say, test it by pulling it down into the grey, like that. I'll finish this little section off. Now, there, I've made that lighter deliberately because we're going to be putting some uh, white in there as well. So, we don't want to make that too dark. But down here we do. Now we want to reflect what we've got above. I would tend to use the browns on the, the, the 283 is a good colour here so put a little bit 283 in and put it in this time instead of going across come down and we want that area there to be a little darker. Just a little test run, let's put a little bit of green in here as well because that's going to be reflecting the green. Do a little bit, as I said, do a little bit at a time. And then use your colour shaper again, blend that down. Got it? Got the idea of that? No, that's already looking quite good, but we want to make it a little darker. So we've got to go in with it. Probably use the 177 dark brown here. You can, if you want, use the 175, but uh, that's a little strong. Now, in here, I want to make that dark, so I'm going to put 
just throw a little bit of depth in there like that. Now let's just pull that down. Now I'm not going to chat all the way through this. The idea is to give you an idea of this, how this works. And another, another thing, we want to be just a little stronger coming around the back of that as well. I'll bring that out there. Yes, I shall just proceed through using this system all the way through. Now you see, I haven't put any white on that or any light grey on that um, to reflect the stones, but they still reflect simply because what we've done, we've darkened those areas in between which indicate reflection. A little bit more. And there we are. Now that's not bad at all. What we want to do is just put just a smidgen of light in there. So let's just do that. Let's just imagine that we're going to put in that stone reflects down like that and that one like that. Don't make this white too strong. Now that, don't be over ambitious. That's fine. Now let's switch to another colour like the 175 now and here we can we can come up in to give ourselves a little bit of detailed edge so now we can see that that spot's being reflected and you can also now this time I'm not going to use the blender just pull those colors down in like that and in here too A little bit of green as well. Now this green here will be reflecting above it. So here what we'll do is put some green in as well. And as well as the little bit of more of the ochre. And that comes down. Do it a little bit at a time if you like. This is now beginning to come alive, isn't it? Look at that. Later on, what you'll see me do is to come across. It will either be with dark, like that, or it will be with the, the white, just to put some sort of ripples in. And get the idea of that? Now, that's what you'll be seeing me doing all the way along here. But just to start the ball rolling, I'm just going to put some a little bit of white down in here using the white pastel pencil. And it's obvious what I'm doing, I'm reflecting those light areas above. In between that, best to use the grey. And then we've got a, 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 that area that goes across. Don't worry about that at the moment. Let's just concentrate on putting this in a little bit of brown. Maybe just a little bit of interference would be a good idea, just like that. Now, even with before you do anything else, you see that looks pretty good. Let's put a bit of green in as well. There's a little bit of green to signify that. A little bit of green that's collecting. And then use the colour shaper. I'd probably, if you're doing a light, light colour like that, I'd just clean your colour shaper off before. And otherwise you'll contaminate it. Okay. And then you do exactly the same again. Pull it down. Pressure, mm, fair pressure on there. Don't be timid. You can always do it again. Don't worry about anything down here. Just concentrate on what we're meant to be doing up here. And it comes down to there. And miss the post out. Now that looks great, doesn't it? Before we've done anything, just scumble that in like that. 
and then you can do again you can just bring down like I did here just a little bit of interest detail in there and along here we want to have an edge and really folks that is all you need when you magnify that all the way through here that's going to look fantastic anyway I'm not going to do any more because you can see how that is actually working out and just pull that back down into here now, I bet you thought that that was going to be much much harder than that but it isn't that post then the one like that um, post that's going across can just be represented like that and you can even come back in and put just a tiny bit more light if you if you want to and there we are 